And because nobody could see me, I did not dress up. <laughs> oh my god, I'm sounding so smart right now. Oof, Chidera. Peace out. If I say the thing that will put me inside base day. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back. Oh, it's good to have you here. <laughs> Okay, so this is one of those very random videos again. I decided to go for a walk this evening. It's something I do every now and then. I realize I'm very close to the university. And I remember that a couple of people have asked me, oh, what does the uni look like now that there's a lockdown? How are classes like? And all of that. So I'll be answering all of that on this video and as well showing you guys the buildings and showing you what school looks like. Oh my God, literally the street is deserted right now. I went to buy yam. Hey, Jesus, I'll show you put this yam. I went to buy yam. <laughs> I probably should have showed you guys when I was buying it, but I do not think so. This is yam. <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. I got yam. Oh my god, Chidera behave. You're on the streets. You're on the streets. Um, I bought pepper. So I'm excited. Tomorrow I'm going to eat yam and souls. It's been a long time, my people. Alright, let me show you guys what the street looks like. So I'm really close to the school. It's usually this street is full of students, but yeah this is life now so this is basically eldon building this is school of like creative you know stuff directly opposite it is trafalgar hall you know first mode has like uh, student accommodations so this is one of those accommodations trafalgar hall okay there it is so this is trafalgar hall and directly opposite it is eldon building for the creative arts okay let's go let go let go you know it's funny how you can actually count the number of people on the street I, that man behind me just a shout hey god it's a nigerian anyway <laughs> so yeah the streets are virtually empty apart from that man and someone else on the other side of the street i don't know if you can see actually at the bus stop i think we're the only ones on the street to be honest okay it's official all the chairs are wet so i don't know how okay this one is not wet i'll sit down here all right let me sit here okay so i'm finally seated seriously you guys need to thank god for this yam if it's not that i bought this yam i don't know where i would have placed this phone right now because the, the yam is behind the phone so it's wedging the phone so thank god for yam more. anyway a couple of you have asked me um what lectures or what school has been like since the whole lockdown oh <laughs> we've been having classes online on an application called webex so we could actually see each other communicate as normal and the funny thing some of my classmates already traveled back to their countries some had gone back to canada my friends have, have gone back to america the caribbeans and also people had already gone back home you would think that with the whole time difference that things will change drastically it did not change instead it became more hectic in a way we still had group presentations despite the whole time difference so what they did they grouped us according to the differences in our time zones like we in the uk were like a group those in like america and those in new zealand i think were like a group so they grouped it and we all had to work um as a team remotely so we had to use all these collaborative tools like google docs google drive um whatsapp webex you know skype so it was very very interactive and we held presentations online so you know how you do a powerpoint presentation so it, the way we did it is one person talks then when you're done with your slide the next person talks and as we're talking the slide is what is being shown on the screen for everybody to see so it's been really really like very much normal the only difference is that everything is done online but the same intensity we had and usually my classes run from 9 a.m to 6 p.m and i was thinking oh with the whole online classes it's not gonna be like that but it's a lie it was literally the same thing we had classes from nine till six even though it was online so nothing really changed just the fact that everything moved online and we we're still able to have access to each other we still had um, collaborative sessions we still had guest speakers because usually for my course we have guest speakers come in and talk to us on certain topics we still had that like we had people on in the classes online you know from their house talking to us on webex so it was really interesting but one thing that me i really liked about about the whole online thing even though it was really challenging at first is the fact that i was doing it from the comfort of my home and because nobody could see me i did not dress up like <laughs> i didn't know how to put on full clothes look good because like my camera was turned off 
so all i had to do was just sit down there and put the phone in front of me on my laptop and take my notes and just talk when i have to like turn on my mic and talk when i have to and all of that so i found that very convenient and a lot of people have also asked me um do i think you should still apply to the uk or to the university of Portsmouth, who with the way the world has you know changed well first of all i am not an admissions officer this message this what am i talking this question should be directed to the admissions officer oh yeah you can find that information on whatever school's website you're applying to and you send these kind of questions directly to them before i say the thing that will put me inside base but <laughs> in general what i'll say is i don't really see why you should not apply because you know truth about learning is um learning in times like this actually solidifies your learning oh my god i'm sounding so smart right now Oof, chidera i feel like this is actually the best time to go for an education if you want to because right now we're realizing that we need policies we need advocacy we need a new form of leadership especially with the whole um crisis going on in the world we've got the whole racism is issue in the u.s we've got um corona hey god ants is on this <laughs> there's ants here we've got government laws government policies with the whole pandemic and like there are so many conversations that are being stirred up we're looking at mental health we're looking at support for small businesses we're looking at how to make business sustainable so this is actually the best time to go to school and to get a quality education so in my opinion i don't see why you shouldn't apply now to be honest i don't see why you shouldn't apply now and besides most schools are going to have like precautionary measures so even if you arrive in the country that is later on i think you're going to have to like self-isolate to do all of the necessary procedures just to ensure that you know you're fine and you don't bring anything to the country or the country does not give you anything so yeah i would really advise you should still apply if you want to this is a very good time to be in a learning environment and to you know you know you know what i mean oh you guys i hope i've i've been able to answer your questions aunt is biting me i need to stand up okay if there's any question that i've not answered please feel free to drop it down in the comment section and trust me i always you can ask people that know me all my friends no not my friends all my family members that know me i always reply my comments like whatever comments you drop even if it doesn't require a reply this girl is gonna reply you because you're important like that so make sure you drop god i have so much energy make sure you drop a comment if there's anything you want me to answer and i will I hey god i just remember something it's gonna shock me if i turn this camera around <laughs> and it was not recording all these things i've been talking like all these things i've been saying i'm really gonna be hurt because i can't repeat everything i've just said with the same energy okay let me check it as i was about to stand up i just remembered something they also gave us assignments so i still had the same <laughs> assignments that i would normally have i still had to write reports in the midst of a pandemic but the good thing is for the university of Portsmouth, there was like a mental health support because they knew it was like a very challenging time for students so if you needed or if i had needed that service i could have easily assessed it but due to the um, peculiarity of the circumstance there were a lot of measures put in place to support students so apart from the whole mental health thing there was this extension of a um, submission date so if you feel like the date that you were given to submit your assignment is not enough you could always apply for like two weeks extra which was really good and it helped a lot of people that were like were affected in one way or another by the pandemic so that was really good yes jesus and also if you're applying to the university of Portsmouth, and um you need some sort of help or assistance university of Portsmouth only please if you apply any other place don't disturb me so if you're applying to the university of Portsmouth and you need any assistance whatever drop a comment down below and i'll reply you and we're gonna find a way to talk off the platform you know we're gonna go private hey jesus this aunt has beat the hell out of me so i'm just going to show you guys other like important buildings just show you like it's just to give you an overall view like a feel of what uni is like now i don't have the strength to cross to the other side of this road so i'll just point it this right here is like university accommodation yeah i don't know i'll, I'll put the name up when i remember what name it is then right here like this building directly here is the careers and employability that is the ground floor the top is student accommodation so careers and employability like people that they'll help you your cv finding jobs yada yada they help students they support them they're awesome let's keep walking like johnny walker let's walk god where's my energy from 
this is like the university headquarters this is called winston churchill building so basically this is like where the vice chancellor stays and other like executive heads of the school like usually when i'm walking on this street i i i oftentimes bump into people so it's just so weird like since the lockdown started i've not been to this part of the city so this is actually my first time in like three months coming down here so it's quite different y'all it's quite different because i'm trying to be a proper brit i'm trying to be british you get it like you get me fam like i'm trying to be british i'm trying to show you guys everywhere like jesus <laughs> my accent in presentation is trash like it is trash okay okay so um i don't know if you guys know but i work for the university of Portsmouth as an international student ambassador so basically this is my office <laughs> i work at northfield center i hope you can really see what's here i work at northfield center so this is home of um, international student office and the chaplaincy and well-being center like mental health and well-being center so as an international student if you need anything with visa help whatever you got that anything that has to do with you being an international student this is the place to find them okay and also the investment medical center is at the ground i'm not sure if it's just the ground floor because i've never really been inside inside the building but i'll just show you guys where it is and yeah i hope you guys can see me because i'm just trusting that this thing is recording me you know like i hope i'm in the frame when i check it now i'm gonna know jesus oh my university of postman office center and just i told you just at the corner here this is the university medical center so this is where i actually registered with my gp general practitioner so apparently when you come to the uk you have to register with a doctor and that doctor is in charge of all your medical issues and you'll be given a specific number i think that is related to the nhs so everybody has like a unique number so you are registered so when you come here as an international student make sure you find your gp and register because most likely in order for you to get a visa you have to pay medical and health insurance so it's actually to your own benefit that you you know lay hold of that opportunity you access your gp as soon as possible so if you have any medical issues you can be attended to oh so, um the university also has like an eye clinic um so this is it this is the eye clinic i've actually been to the eye clinic once um i had a free eye test and you know i just needed to know if i needed glasses <laughs> By myself i was looking for trouble you know how when you have free service like you just feel you have to maximize it so when i saw they were having free tests i'm like yay let me use the test although the nigerian in me was like chidera that eye problem you're finding that eye problem you're finding you're gonna get it so <laughs> but thank master jesus i don't have eye problem and i did not need glasses This is called the union basically it's owned by the students union it's like a very chill place for students to just hang out and chill it's one of my favorite places in school i highly doubt that it's open but let me just try my lock of course it's locked what was i thinking everything is locked every single thing is locked it is locked it is locked oh we are locked oh my god oh my oh i forgot to show you guys this this is so cool let me just show you for those of you that like to gym and you know fitness is let me zoom in is a spinner car center i don't know if you can see it let me move to the side yeah it's a spinner car sports center so basically if you want to be fit if you want to be like what's that guy's name that guy that can run very well usain bolts and everything if you want to have <laughs> toned abs six packs that's your building that, that's your building right there if you're gonna study here so is the back of the students union building i just felt i had to show you guys i'm sure you can see all these hammocks so basically students can just let me zoom in so you guys can see yeah so students can just zoom in hey what am i talking students can just <laughs> go there relax and chill it's just like a hangout spot for students students union i think advice and academic support center i've actually been here for hardship allowance and they were able to you know provide support to me so if you ever need help as a student of Portsmouth, you know, the University of Portsmouth, feel free to reach out to them. They were quite they were quite helpful to me. So yeah. So I used to go to the library. I spend a lot of time in this building reading because they have like this very private section for postgraduate students because we are the big deal, in it Like we're the big shots. Oh, that can they make noise. So <laughs> there's this private reading space for postgraduate students. It is less noisy, it is quiet, and only postgraduate students can go there. 
so undergrads cannot go there <laughs> um, I really liked using that part of the library because it was always very quiet oh, so this is the university library Thank you.